Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see how to find Invincible. Uh, plus we are going to talk some of the new feature in the upcoming release by Shining Gami, which is the Reaper Studio. There is actually, after talking to Shining Gami, there is actually two different kind of Reaper Studio. One is the basic, which is for the public, and one is for the top supporter. Uh, one of the good features is uh, function calls without a function calls you cannot find invincible so with the public release there is no function calls so please guys if you want to donate to him this is his page you can see he spent too much time uh, fixing the app uh, making trainers making the uh, the loader which is right here as you can see to load your trainers which is support every single format by Shining Gami SHN support SHN files support MC4 support JSON and support SHN EXT which is really cool and awesome very powerful software so please if you, if you feel like you want to donate to him this is his page feel free to buy him some coffee so that's being said let's get started first thing is first uh, uh, if you have a fake PKG uh, start uh, hint first in my case I don't have to because I have the disk the blu-ray disk so I just need to load the pin loader and send some payload so we go here we load pin loader because I already sent the payload so I don't need to send it uh, very important is to download uh, PS4 cheater by STN which is has the cancel scanner the debug that the debugger comes with the uh, Reaper Studio does not have a constant scanner. I hope soon uh, STN will add it uh, to uh, PS4 Reaper Studio. Anyways, guys, so make sure to send the payload from if you have, if you want a, a console scanner, make sure to send the payload from PS4 Cheer. So in my case, I already sent the payload, so I don't notice. I, I don't I don't need to send it one more time. So now start your game. Close this window. All right, and now we click on refresh. Make sure this is very important that your executable start at four hundred thousand. Otherwise, you need to start over. Quit the game. Hold the PS button. Close your app and restart your game. But we are uh, we are good to go right now. So yeah, let the game load and try to find out how much health do we have. We have 594. But first, let's connect Reaper. Let's drag this one here, and we go to setting options and set your PS4 IP address if you are on 505 uh, your port number is going to be 9021 if you are on 6.72 your port number is going to be 90 sorry if you are on 505 your port is going to be 9020 if you are on 6.72 is going to be 9021 insert your nickname or whatever your name uh, whatever your name is uh, try to find function if you want to find invincible or something else, if you, if you want to follow function, try to tick this box and save. Close this and connect. Okay, now uh, select the process. In my case, it's eboot.bin. Maybe you have eboot.elf or something else. Here is give your uh, you, uh, give a name for your project. I'm gonna keep it simple, but go, yeah, boys. So it's uh, just the CUSA, the name of the game, and the version of the game. And I'm gonna click on OK. Would you like to analyze the executable? I'm going to click no. Let's say I, I by accident I click no. You always you will find it here. So. Here you can analyze the executable if you find if you want to find some function. But right now, let's give it our cheat name. Also, I'm gonna keep a symbol is a plot boring. 
All right, and now let's analyze the executable. While this is analyzing, we are going to search for the HB. So it's 495. I'm sorry, 594. Select all, make sure cancel scan is selected. So it's 594 first scan. Uh, what are we doing? We need to find what rise to our to our HP when we lose health, not anything else. Only when our player get damage, lose health, get hit. That's the function we want to find. Now here it is still analyzing. You will see an icon or something when it's done. Uh, it's a bit slower because I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi if I'm connecting with the Ethernet cable it's going to be a lot faster yeah I was too lazy to look for the cable today sorry guys Yeah, you see guys, when you see the function right here, that's mean the analyzing is done. So let's finish this right, this right here. Alright, so now let's lose some health and make a next scan all right you see the thing is with this game you cannot bounce so i have to run all the way to here so let's see let's see how much health we have now it is 490 so it's 490 and next is can. Let's add those to the cheat list. And let's change them to 600 for example. And let's see what happens once we change them. Uh, look, look close attention to here, you know. So nothing happens. What? I'm sorry. What the heck? Continue what I did. Six hundred. Nothing. There we go. So that's the one we need. So I'm going to delete those since I don't really need them. Make sure because sometimes they are visual, but I know this one is the real one. So I'm gonna copy address and I'm going to start my debugger. Once again, guys, only when our player lose HP not anything else not any other function or uh, any other uh, instruction so this one is gonna the first one is gonna pop out is not what I need so I'm gonna just knob it you see this one right here I'm going to knob this one 
uh, but also let's uh, resume the game okay and let's not this one direct uh, let's call it um, not so we can remember Alright, and here is the knob, automatically is knobbed for us, and let's save it. Close this right here, we close this one, we don't need it anymore. You go to project info, refresh, so we can see the new cheat, so we can knob the function we don't want, but first we need to attach to trainer, and click on knob. Once again, we need to go back to our debugger and set another watch point but this time only when we get hit so we find the function that tries to our HP and the enemy HP okay so here we go that's the function we are after let's copy uh, this one make a note somewhere let's make a note somewhere Right and HP, let's call it HP, and this is the address and the functions. Uh, let's copy the N instruction, sorry, keep calling co call them functions just in case. So we have it saved, so we don't have to start over if something happens. Alright, so that's the function. We need to actually knob this function to make sure it is the right one. Okay, so here, let's call on reset and pause. Alright, so now let's go to history. You see, that's the function we want. We want to knob it and see if we lose any health okay so let's knob it out um, direct we call it HP for example knob alright and we save we close this window and refresh attach the process one more time we okay and let's delete this one so we don't have any confusion Oh, leave it. We don't actually. I don't read. Really, I I really don't need it if it's there or not. So, loss. This is the this is the knob for our HP. If we active this cheese, we're supposed to get infinity HP. Also, the enemy will get infinity HP, and that's what we are after. We want to find what rise to our HP and what rise to enemy HP. So let's let's see if if I lose any health. There we go, I'm not. He's not dying, I'm not dying as well. So that's the one we really after. We are getting close guys, we are really getting really close. Okay. So now, once I have infinity HP, this is our HP. Because we analyze the executable so now we'll be going to find the call functions we click on this icon no ending found increase size and refresh okay and let's give it like 10,000 let's see what happens okay nothing okay let's give it 20,000 
Okay, so there is an end, I think. Yes, yeah, you see, this is the end of the functions. This is the beginning of the function. Here, we don't have an end of the function. So let's give it to 300, for example. All right, so this is the end. And once once we are here, we click on this icon, it give us another call, it give us this call. Let's go down a little bit. There we go. So here is a call. Now if I click on this, we will find another call. So you need to try to knob every call. Once you are here, once you get the first call, this is the first call right here. You need to knob it and see if it has any effect for invisible on your player or the enemy character. So I already tried this one before and it didn't help. So the next call I think is going to be the right one. Found function not found, but actually it did found. See this one, the one I really need. If I knob this function, both player and enemy will have invis invisibility. So let's try and knob this one. Let's call it copy. Just to remember, this is a call direct let's paste it right there and save this is the call so I make sure you know I knob the call so saved close here keep this one open because we need to make some adjustment right here so right here we have those two on not uh, one only on refresh Come out. okay which one I did uh, I think that's called the HP okay um, maybe the call hmm. anyways uh, there we go so this is the call now let's see if we get hit I don't think so oh I did actually did I the call there we go as you can see guys let's minimize this one see now if I turn this one off okay if I turn it on so neither me or the player is getting hit so now let's separate ours from the... I hope he's not following. Oh, this guy sucks, man. I hate this guy. Oh, you know what? Let me pause the game. Yeah, but the thing is, every time I try to disable something, it's not going to be paused anymore. Like, for example, if I turn this one. You see? So let's turn, no I don't need to turn this one off, so yeah let's make some adjustment. So okay, alright, as you can see there is some jumps, this one is jump, jump into B6, which is B6, where is B6, it's B6 is right here, this is the B6, this one is all jump into B6, this one is jump to C, A, which is right here. What we need to do, if it's our player, we need to skip the call. Skipping the call is just like knobbing the call. And when we, when we are knobbing the call, we get invis invincible. We, we are invincible. So if I jump over the call to here, 
it's just like not in this one because we are not going through this one you understand this boys I mean I'm just explaining for some other guys maybe they don't know so yeah so now so I don't want to cave here because there is a jump this one is jumping to here I'm sorry now to here so I want to start my cave within this and here this one and this one I want to make my cave right there but first I need to get hit somewhere here to see some value and compare to them okay so let's let's set the breakpoint right there or oh, right there maybe yeah let's set the breakpoint at the breakpoint okay so this is this is my player R9 because I'm just a pretending I don't know but I, I do this is my player so let's take a screenshot and save it somewhere in your desktop or whatever we call it the player guys I did it really quick I did not really spend a lot of time on it because sometimes the NPCs, you know, the small character, they looks like your character. They always, or most of the time, they have they have same value as your character. So make sure you spend a little bit more time to separate your guy from even the NPCs. The enemy and your guy is easy, very easy to do. But separating your guy from NPCs, NPC friend or enemy is is a little bit tricky. So I will leave that to you. You find it on your own. So now my player, when my player get hit, R9 is always equals to one. Okay. Now let's hit the player and see because we save this one. We already save this right here. Right. Ah, oh, yeah, I saved it. Okay. So now let's let me hit the player and see what's going on. Let's um. Okay, so you see, this is the player R9 is equal to 0, my player equals to 1, so we're good to go. So now let's make our code. Alright, alright, so let's clear the, wa clear the watch point and reset, and let's pause. All right. So here, where we do, where do we have to make our code cave? Like I said, there's a jump to here. B6 is jumping to B6. So I'm gonna choose those two. I hope the game will not crash. I think the last time I did it, it did not crash. So let me see if there is anything I need to turn off. HP and the fake HP. This is the real HP. Is now this is the fake HP. This is the call is turned off. Make sure the call is turned off yeah so let's make our cave called cave and we call it invincible in invincible or can't be hit just to make sure find unique functions click on yes and that assembly code check spelling why Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I cannot use this one. Sorry. Yeah. So let's uh, call it cave and we call it just invincible. Click on OK. Uh, spaces is not allowed, I think. Yeah, as I remember. So we compare R9. To one, if it's what if it's our player, so jump if equal, jump if equal. Where we do we need? Where do we need it to jump? I know, I know. We need it to jump right here. We need to skip the call, so it's right here. Let's go with the address. Jump if equal. If it's our player, if 
it's our other player we need to jump over to jump this call right here so we jump all the way to here all right I hope this will make more sense let's validate it check validation oh it looks good and awesome already yeah so uh, invisible what I need is save saved and let's uh, okay now let's refresh okay now let's turn this one off and let's turn invincible on. you can see I'm not getting hit let's see can I hit the guy he's not losing any health uh, but let me uh, oh, I, I need to turn this one off Let's see if this guy still he's not losing anyhow. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to quit the game and restart over and see what happens. So everything let's save our project first, close this and quit the game. Uh, we don't need cheater anymore. Sorry guys, the video is going to be very long. I don't know man, that's the best I can do. Explaining a lot of stuff it takes time. So let's connect again. And let's open our project. Take it easy, boy. I remember one time I find how to pause the video, but in my other cheats, uh, it's been a long time. Why this is taking forever? Okay, there we go. So yeah, now let's delete everything else and keep the invincible. Uh, call, delete this one. I don't need it. No, I don't need this one. No, this one I don't need it also. Keep them in the only refresh. Just to keep it clean. And let's try our card. There we go. See, the guy is losing hell. I'm gonna kill the guy. Very easy. Now we are invincible, boys. Okay. Oh, but fire. Oh, fire is not. Yeah, but attacks. Is ignoring attack. There we go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn from it, if you learn something from it, please, uh, uh, if you have any any question, uh, give the video a thumbs up, if you have any question, uh, have it in the comment below, and once again, please guys, uh, try to help the developer to Shining Guy, who remained the uh, Uber Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.